as you can see down at the bottom there, uh, this is the grade 8 mathematics. This is the practice test for TCAP. Question number 13. A radio station will play five different songs in a row in a random order. Two of the songs are by the same artist. What is the probability that these songs will be first two played? Now, this is a probability question. Anytime you see probability, which this one has written right here in the problem, it tells you that's probability, so you should pay close attention. Anytime you set up, uh, see probability, two things come to my mind anyway. Uh, the first one is that something about finding the total is very important to me. So I need to know how many total songs are there. Well, it says that there's five different songs, so I know the total is five. The other thing is I'm going to be setting up fractions. We can refer to them as ratios if we want, but why bother? Let's just call them fractions. Now, in this problem, two things are going to happen. The first is that one song is going to be played. The second is that another song is going to be played. Now, we're assuming they're not doing some back-to-back -back thing. Unless it says that they are, we're going to assume that they're not. So I'm going to set up my first fraction under the auspices, or assuming, anyway, that uh, they haven't played or, or that I can have any of those songs played. So when I set up my fraction, my total goes on the bottom. and uh, my preferred goes on top. And preferred is like what I'm looking for here. I want to have that song played by the same artist twice in, in this scenario. So my total is that there are five songs to choose from. Now, we are told later on that there are two songs by the same artist, which means that either one of those songs could play and we would still be uh, meeting the criteria that we wanted. So I have two here. I don't know why I used the highlighter, sorry about that, but it's a big 2 over 5. It could be a little 2 over 5 if you want. For my second event, because you need to make a fraction for each event, Oops. for my second event, I have 5 songs, right? No, I don't. That's where it comes in handy to be smart about what you put down. I don't have 5 songs. I can't have that same song played again because we said earlier, unless they say otherwise, they're not going to play the same song again. So the probability, uh, so the total number of songs I can choose from is four. I only have four songs left. It's the other five of the five songs originally. I have uh, every other song except the one they played first. In terms of what uh, my preferred songs, if I only had two songs to start out with by the same artist, and then I played one of them, uh, two minus one would be one. So I only have one opportunity left. Now, when I start doing uh, probability, and I get to the point where I'm adding multiple events, multiple events uh, multiply the difficulty of the problem itself. So in this case, when I have my two fractions set up, I'm just going to multiply them together. And it'll give me a nice answer that I can work with. So for each event, set up one fraction. It's uh, hard by multiplying the number of things together, it can give me the uh, answer that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and type in two-fifths. And if, incidentally, if you're using a TI-84 Plus and you didn't know, if you hit alpha, which is the green button, and then the Y equals button, which is the graph, this little chart comes up. That's the uh, fraction menu. So the first one says N over D, and you could uh, press it and get 2 over 5 into your calculator, if you so desire, whatever. And then times... If the question is set up as a fraction, I tend to leave it that way. So I do 2 fifths times 1 fourth, and it gives me 1 over 10. And I can convert that easily into a decimal. I can either divide 1 by 10 and get the 0 0.1 that I'm looking for. Or, if you have 1 over 10 anyway, and you wanted to use the um, fraction menu, hit alpha y equals, and then you can hit number 4, which should uh, FD, that would be fraction decimal, and it'll convert it to 0.1 for you very nicely. So the answer to number 13 is just C. A lot of these are C, apparently, but whatever it is, it is. So when you have probability, set up one fraction for each event, try to determine whether or not um, the, no the total changes, depending on what the problem says, and then just multiply them together, and that's it.